So you're probably wondering how you can get your first godly in Murder Mystery 2. Well, I have some good news for you guys. Now it's much more easier than before to get a godly. So I'm going to give you tips. But this also come with my own story how I get rich in Murder Mystery 2 with the hopes of helping you. So now let me introduce you how to get a godly in 2024. One, grinding coins for unboxing. Classic method, yeah, but here's the thing though, you don't want to grind in a normal server because you have to optimize your grinding. So if you can handle other accounts at least three, go on small server and grind coins. Yeah, overall this method will take you a long time, but if you don't really care about time, well, maybe you can give a try. But if you don't like grinding, maybe you prefer trading. Let me introduce you the second method. Small upgrade trades. So you probably have seen videos like common to godly right? This method is exactly the same thing. You want to trade your current best knife with someone just a little higher in value. The only problem is most people don't usually like downgrading their items so you have to be patient. I personally use this method. I started with a crap random common and after a couple of trades I got a yellow steer. So I strongly recommend you to get in a trading server for this because obviously you want players that are here for the same reason like you which is trading. So make sure to be polite and respectful with everyone otherwise people just might not now want to collaborate with you and help you with your goals. They most likely going to ignore you. Anyway, now we're moving on the next method guys. And that next one might be honestly my favorite of all the methods I've been showing in this video. The following method will make you rich only after a couple of events. Trust me. 3. Grinding on the events. You already know guardians are unfortunately not free, so working for getting them is actually the best way to get very rich in MM2. But hey, what I have to do you may ask. Well of course you have to grind, but I have to answer some frequently asked questions. 1. When should I start grinding? 2. How do I proceed? 3. Do I have to spend Robux? 4. How long will it take? And 5. How to grind faster? Now let's give an answer to the first question. So obviously you should start as soon you can. Basically you don't want to lose time because the new items won't wait for you before dropping in value. If you can, start grinding just after the event started, it's better. So you have no clue on how to grind in Murder Mystery 2. If you're a bit lazy, well, sorry for saying this, this might be very tempting to just simply join a random server and well, just trying to grind inside of that server. But okay, let me explain why this is such a bad idea. There is only one answer to this question. It's a massive waste of time. Let me explain. You need a small server. Try looking for a server with people that also want to grind. If you're on computer, extension can divide the time spent on searching servers by two. If you're on mobile, don't worry. You can search server by ascendant and there we go, you have the smallest server now. You don't really have to spend Robux. So Robux are more going to be used for like helping you. Yeah, it's more like a tool. But let's be honest. I think it's still very unfair for the players who have no Robux because you need to put a lot of effort just to get all the new stuff that come on every event. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. But yeah, Robux are going to be used like to skip the branding part and just let you get the items or get closer. So that it's your decision if you decide to spend Robux on the game or not. I honestly think the 2023 Christmas event was harder than the Halloween event. So to be realistic, I think it can take a few weeks. Or if you're grinding a lot, you can obtain the item you want in less than a week. Good luck. So technically we already covered this question. I say get out accounts and get the small server. So yeah, let's skip. I absolutely want now to talk about my own story in MM2, how I get all my stuff, my inventory, my how I got all this in only a few months. Let's get into it. Okay, okay, we have to return in the past so I can explain my storyline. August 2023. This is when I started playing actively on MM2. The first time I played ever on this game was back in 2016, but I was barely playing, so... At that time, I had no prestige and I remember my inventory was very basic. I had something like 3 low tier godly and a couple of random knife. Then a friend gave me a lot of decent godlies. Not high tier godlies, but some, some really nice godlies. Yes, what you're seeing right now is my inventory at that time. Then something very very bad happened, so I got hacked. Yes, I'm not even joking. The hackers stole all my godlies and legendaries and I was desperate. When I got control back on my account, the first thing I did was changing my password and looking at all my options. When I told my friend what happened, she decided to help me. On the moment, I felt so bad because she already have given a lot of stuff in the past, but I took the stuff and I started a new inventory. I remember this happened in September. So what was my next move? I decided to grind on the upcoming events to get richer, Halloween and Christmas. So during the Halloween event of 2023, I remember 
I was grinding for the Traveler Axe. I've just spent Robux for one thing, which is like the Battle Pass, and I and I didn't even buy the whole Battle Pass. I just like I just got a few tiers to boost me. Then the rest I did it like the fair way. I didn't spend any Robux except for the crits. But that was way later after I got the Traveler Axe. This is when I tried to unbox the Godly, and I got it. Just a bit more than one week to complete the battle pass and getting 30k candy to buy the traveler hacks. And for the Christmas update, I also grind but not that much because I was aiming for a top 100. I got the evergreen, I got the evergone by grinding. So again, get your alt accounts and find a small server because you want to grind for the brand new high value items. When you obtain them, what you do? Now, first, you have to check the value in Supreme Value. It's important. But you have to get the items quick. If that's the case, you're lucky. Don't lose time. And what's the reason of this, you may ask? Well, you have to trade it. Yeah, I understand this idea is scary because you work so hard for getting it. But trust me, your item will eventually drop in terms of value. So please, trade your items as quick you can. But just do not accept the first offer you get because you may get some better offer sometimes. Just be patient. If the item is like overpaid for or doing well or any good statement on supreme value, make sure you get an overpaid. But if your item is already stable or fluctuating, this might be already too late. That's how you make value quickly in MM2. Our next method is actually the crafting station. Yeah, the crafting station. This is also a very decent way to get godlies. Since I'm playing, I craft two here with the crafting station. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, the gift from the Christmas event has really speed up the process. <laughs> and I also got very lucky because I got a, a, a godly death shirt from gifting. You may ask how I did gifting to my alt accounts. The last method of this video is actually this one. Just to make sure, just check, okay? Check all your unused alt accounts that you don't use anymore. Maybe you had played MM2 on it. Maybe you don't even remember. But just, just to make sure, check. You may have some stuff. You may find some good surprise if you're lucky. I did this two months on one of my very hot account and I find some random stuff. I hope for you that you will find a rare knife, like a rare common or whatever, because you might be able to trade it for a golly directly. Imagine. Getting a godly is much more easier than before now. It's much more easier than it was years ago, which is probably a good thing if you think about it, but this also comes with a price or a consequences to use a better term. Due to the fact that godlies are now easier to get, well, this might have caused their value to drop a bit, but this only have a very minor effect compared to what duping glitch has caused to most weapon in MM2. We talk about this in this video, link in the description. But hey, it is really worth to spend that much time just for getting a virtual item on a game in which we don't even know its dead date. Whatever you answer, is i think as long as it's fun it's worth spending time on uh, wait a minute i was gonna forget something okay as i promise i'm going to show you what i find in my old account there we go yeah unfortunately i didn't find any godlies but i guess it's fine i take this old school knife it's still very it's still, it's still very cool